We welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to this program of Lenten Diet, an extensive study of the Word of God for this period of 40 days of Lent, especially in the Diocese of Lagos. Please join us for a daily study in the closest parish of the Diocese of Lagos to you. Let us pray. I speak to you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So today, we shall be looking at the topic, Characteristics of the Kingdom, Peaceful Coexistence with Others. And our text shall be taken from Hebrews 12, verse 13 and 14. And it says, And make straight path for your feet, lest this which is lame be turned out of the way. But let it rather be healed, follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Peace is a state of harmony and tranquility in one's relationship, characterized by lack of violence, conflict, and freedom from fear of violence. While peaceful coexistence simply means harmonious and non-violent way of living among brethren. The writer to the Hebrews here explained how the fellowship of the family of God is to function. In order to maintain the fellowship, each member must seek peace with his brother. Psalm 34 verse 14 says, Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Each member must be known for forbearing others. Forbearance of one another's faults produces an atmosphere in which spiritual growth can occur. Peace is a gift from God. It is God's will and desire for us to explain His peace which transcends all understanding. It is a peace in the midst of trouble. We receive peace when we pray and entrust to God our needs and also when we meditate on His word. Philippians 4 verse 6 and to 9 says, About everything and in everything prayer and petition which present your request to God. Peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And verse 9 says, whatever you learn or receive or heard from me or seen in me, practice and the God of peace will give you peace. Jesus Christ comfort his disciple prior to his arrest. In John chapter 16 verse 34 he said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace and in this world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world. Peace is something we need whether we are educated or not, rich or poor, young or old, a believer or not. We have moments of stress and anxiety. If we are poor, we are concerned about having nothing to eat. And if you are rich, you are afraid of being robbed. The healthy is worried about getting sick. The sick is worried about dying too early. Peace is a universal need and God has an answer for it. God gives peace in the midst of trouble. To live peacefully with others is to do what is written in Proverbs 6 verse 7 which says when a man's way please the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. We need to live right with God to do his will to love him and to abide in him on a daily basis to put him first in all our daily dealings. Romans 12 8 says if it be possible as much as his lies with you live peaceably with all men. God has given us peace and we need to live by it as his children. Matthew 5 9 says, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. And in verse 13 he said, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savour, wherewith shall it be sorted? It is therefore good for nothing, but to be cast down and trodden underfoot by men. And verse 9, 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I will conclude by saying we must understand that manifestation of the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that is in this serves Christ is acceptable to God and approve of men. Let us therefore follow after things which makes for peace and things wherewith we may edify one another. Romans 14, 17-19 Being at peace with all men is a mark of 
kingdom manifestation, an unavoidable condition for making heaven. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless your name for this word that we have heard. Teach us your word on a daily basis in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to share this video. You can follow us on our social platform on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Dowsis of Lagos, on Twitter at Lagos and Dowsis. Please subscribe to this channel, Lagoon TV, and also hit the bell icon in front of the subscribe button to be notified anytime new video is posted. On behalf of the Lord Bishop and Missioner of the Diocese of Lagos, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye, I am Reverend Okiti Sunday Alaba, serving at Anglican Church of Transformation, Abijo, Lagos. God bless you and remain rapturable.